realistically, tomorrow, I guess we just have to get by because it's not looking good. <laughs> tomorrow is question mark. <laughs> I just hope that they'll have what we have now, you know, that just all the plant life, the animal life, the, the water, hopefully everything will still be okay to live in by that point, I guess. I don't really know what tomorrow holds. You can guess and you can visualize, but it's better to just wait. i do a lot of things for sure, if I could do anything. A lot of fun things. <laughs> what sort of fun things? Um, probably if I could fly, for sure fly. I'm thinking I might go to the gym with my little sister, swim, go on the elliptical. You wake up, and if you want to have a bad day, then you're going to have a bad day. If you want to have a good day, you're going to have a good day. The world's going to hell in a handbasket, as far as I'm concerned. I'd love to see change in the community and the way we live. How many tomorrows? Really only one. Because really, if you look at it, tomorrow really never comes. It's just the next day, the next day, the next day. How many tomorrows? I guess I don't know, but I, maybe it's the question to appreciate today. You never know how many tomorrows there are. It can be just taken away from you in a heartbeat. All tomorrow's parties. I hope I hope I'm having them like 65 and we're like these senior citizens playing music too loud and our kids are telling us to be quiet and stop being so weird, mom. Some days I just feel so defeated, but just keep plugging away. We're all basically going for the same goal. We just need to pull together, really. If they're good, then I'd like a lot of tomorrows. <laughs> and I'm excited for tomorrow because it's a new day and I don't know what's going to happen.